Ryan Wrangle to 11, the 20 also around. Ryan Blaney caught up in this in the 12. Right here, they're wrecking. Drew yeah, they're to work. Nothing's Drew gonna hit you here. barely working his way through there. Did Blaney get damage here? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Damage to the 12 of Ryan Blaney. The steering wheel is 180 degrees. Oh no, 180 degrees. He's that done, means guys, look at the right front corner. Oh, that it's means turned he's, in and not rolling, Jeff. Yeah, 180 degrees means the steering wheel is turned. The front tires are not aiming where they needed to aim. That means there's damage. How much damage, Steve? That's the question. Is this repairable? We won't know until he gets the pit road. Yeah, we'll see if it's just a tow link, which is a simple repair for the front, but or for the rear. But in the front, much more complicated because of the way the steering works. Whatever is broken on the right front, you know, is repairable. The question is, is it repairable in six minutes? Right. I gotta come see you this time. Right here, he's gonna come to the right front, sticking yeah. out. Let's take a look at this wreck, though, and see how this damage occurred. Levick car is pushing the 43, just gets him loose. And then he gets very loose. Just chaos behind him. Guys trying to check up. And when you check up, you get ran into. Second up, stay up high, go around it. Wow. With all them, get rid of that Ford of Mike McDowell, the two- oh, Here's the big wreck right Middle here. Middle wreck in here, stay where you are, stay where you are. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Let's see if 19 gets any big damage right here so far. Doesn't look like any big hits. Oh, the right front. Yeah, the right front fender torn off. And so the caution comes out with 59 laps to go. Martin Shrex Jr. had fought to within 10 points. Ryan Blaney, who was involved in an accident earlier in the race. Again, the two fighting to be the top in points. They know that at least one of them will get in. I, I hear what Martin's saying. I, I, I'm not so sure. I don't agree with him. I mean, you've gained that many points. Why, are, why be in the middle of it? Enough guys are laying back at the back of the pack. You could have laid back with them and still been 10 positions ahead of Laney. I don't agree. Well, it's a fact of facts. That's the way it was. But he was ten ten to go. the good up front. I mean, if he goes back to 15th, he's out. He's behind no, Laney. There was 10 people behind him. Yeah, there see, was I, a, there, there, I, not I everybody was racing. Them. Not everybody was up there racing. There were some people laying back. Bet you just heard. This is what every crew chief and driver does in the field. You heard Truex. He said it. We shouldn't have been up there. Reddick just clipping the back bumper. The McDowell turns him into the outside wall. It was Ross Chastain in the one that was right behind the 19. You'll see it right here as the seas kind of part and it becomes three wide. Yeah, just. It's Daytona. It's uh, every, that whole debate we just had. This whole can't get that pushed. Oh, oh into the wall he goes, and they'll collect more cars behind. The 14 stays on the ground. Break, hold the brake, hold the brake. You can see it happening. As he was coming around, Bubba Wallace with contact right there. Watch those guys go around turn three and four. The 14's driving up the racetrack. He is sideways. He's loose, and he's lifting off the gas. The 48 is waiting, 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 right in the left rear quarter panel. It finally he spins the 14, the 14 car out. We've seen that so many times today with guys drive up the racetrack because they're so loose and they can't turn the wheel. Frisco out of the car. He had just made the move to get in front of the 22 of Logano, and this happened. So the 41 dives in the middle of the back straightaway to take the lead, but look at him up the racetrack. He's loose, and he starts coming back down the track right in the left rear quarter panel. Goes the 48. 48 wants to push him, but he needs to push him in the right side. But the 14's driving up the track loose, and that offsets him the wrong way. And that 14 car was working its way upside down. Yep. Let's take another look at this right here. Watch when this thing gets backwards. It turns around, and it climbs a long ways off the ground before it comes back down. My goodness. Mm. That thing is that's scary because, listen, tip, tipping over is bad enough, but now flipping into the grass and into traffic, you know, we've seen other cars. This will be a great onboard. Let's take a look. Onboard Bubba Wallace. Down, 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 down. Keep coming, keep coming straight. Straight down, pit road. All right, all right, all right. An aggressive blocking from Justin Haley now. Oh, oh he's back to 43. He collects the 22. My goodness. And the caution will come out again. Just side by side for the lead. Suarez on the inside. Hamlin on the outside. Haley on that outside line. Top of three. He's got some help with him. Oh, oh, oh into the wall they go. The 11th. Now all 
Council caught up in it. The whole Haley. The three of Austin Dillon squeezes through. He is in front. And look at virtually the only car to clear it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That, I've never seen races that intense in Daytona. Never. And Martin Truex Jr. is going to gain some spots here for this part of Florida. I mean, there were, uh, I'll tell you how it started, but it's like four or five things happening all at once. We, when we pick it up, you've got two or three cars sideways from multiple types of contact. I was with you, and when we started there, I saw two cars sideways. I think we're going to try it a little bit earlier. Let's take a look from the three right here. I want to know how he gets through it, because he's the only one on the apron. Still three bottom. We're at stay bottom, stay bottom, keep coming, keep coming. Way bottom, easy, easy, bottom, bottom, bottom. Good, keep coming, keep coming. Roll. Camera's pretty clear. Let's watch this right here. The 17 of Bush are trying to go into the middle there on the 31, on the 16. No, the, the 99 just loses it. Denny wrecks. Well, the 31 just lost it too by itself yeah. in that top lane. I wonder if it was. Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, both leaders are in clean air and they yeah. both catch their car. That yeah. tells me that there's something.